Hello everyone, as we can see this this molecule we have in total 22 pounds of electrons which we make a triple bond between the carbon between the carbons. Uh, as you can see this will be the, the Lewis stock structure. Uh, because it's linear, the best per the best per structure will be this exactly the same one, just as it looks. So the the angle for this structure would be 180. Now for the box diagram, there's, there are going to be three sections. Uh, the ground state of carbon, the excited state, and then the bond state of the, of the whole molecule. For the ground state of carbon, we're going to start on the 2S uh, On the 2s subshell, which has two electrons, and then move to the 2p subshell. Uh, for this one, there's only two. There's only two per electrons. Uh, then for the excited state, we're gonna add energy. To then be able to. To promote this electron right here, promote it, which would give us one ampere on the two soft shell and three ampere's electron box in the two p. Then for the hybridization, we are going to hybridize these two electrons right here which will make an SP subshell with two ampers then we will move these two remaining ampere electrons right here which will be 2P after that will be we'll draw the, the box the box for our chlorine, which will be uh, in the three P subshell with five balance electrons. This missing here will be shared with this upper box, and then. If we draw another if we draw another carbon it's going to be SP and then and then 2P so then the remaining electrons are going to form new bonds uh, the ones in the SP are going to form to form a sigma bond, and the ones on the 2P are going to form two pi, two pi bonds. Now, if we move on to the next page. We can see the the best structure for this molecule uh, in different views. This one, this right here. Uh, this right here will be the the, the orbital structure, and these two right here will be the overlapping structure, where you can see uh, this will be the pi the pi bonds. The one in the center will be the the sigma bond. Right here we have another sigma and sigma. So in total will be three sigmas and two pi bonds. Now for the contrast diagram, if you remember from the last slides, there are going to be three sigma bonds that come from the SPs and two pi bonds from the two pi. Uh, 